I mean, this is all people can talk about all across the southeast from Mississippi to Alabama to Tennessee to Georgia. We need rainfall. When when have we last gotten rain for places in Alabama? It's been, you know, 90 days plus since you've seen an inch of rain. Birmingham, it's been 100 days. So we need rain. The drought continues to get worse and worse across the southeast. The latest drought monitor came in yesterday and it's been expanded both in aerial extent and the amount of areas that have the exceptional drought, which is the very worst ca drought category category. It's been now expanded into parts of Mississippi and into North Georgia, into Western North Carolina. It continues to get worse with the drought. That's why we have this fire situation on hand. 38 fires that are 100 acres or greater are burning right now across this area. This is more than the Southwest. In fact, at the very moment, we have no fires of this size in the Southwest. It's all happening in the Southeast part of our country. One fire is the Rough Ridge fire that we've been following. This is now grown to more than 10,000 acres. It's only 13% contained. The smoke from that is getting down into parts of North Georgia, including the Atlanta metro area. The Maple Springs fire in North Carolina, this is more than 5,000 acres. This is only 10% contained, and we are tracking another fire in North Carolina as well, the Teleco fire. This 6,800 plus acres burning, 18% contained. Now, most of the areas are in, in national forests that are burning, although there are some homes that have been threatened around the Lookout Mountain area in North Carolina. Saw that, you know, officials were monitoring that. The wind situation is a big deal when it comes to both the fires moving and some of the embers spawning new fires, but also with the smoke and that affecting your air quality. So the winds coming out of the north have been really affecting areas of northern Georgia and parts of western South Carolina over the last two days. You can see how that smoke is getting drawn in by those north winds from the fires that are burning in north Georgia all the way down into central Georgia, smelling the smoke, feeling it. It's burning your eyes and your throat, and it's really causing an issue with air quality. So I want to talk about the air quality alerts that we have up. Um, believe it or not, even though you are getting that smoke down to North Georgia, the air quality is not bad enough just yet for an advisory. That's not been issued, but it's still affecting folks and advisories are up for Chattanooga, for Knoxville, for Kingsport and for Asheville, North Carolina. Very thick smoke, making it difficult for people who already have breathing problems, anyone with asthma or any other respiratory illness. Um, but the kind of uh, air that we're dealing with, um, it's either unhealthy for some or unhealthy. Um, when you get to this range, you know, unhealthy for some is the people that are already sensitive. When you get to the red range, the unhealthy, where we're at this morning, even in Columbia, Columbus, Georgia, this is when the whole general population will feel it. It's not just about the kids. It's not just about elderly. It's not just people with asthma. It's really everyone will feel the effects of the air quality. Knoxville, Chattanooga, the Tri-Cities in Tennessee, Asheville, you are all in that unhealthy for some today with the potential for it to get worse. So really, you know, avoid outdoor exertion. Yesterday, the Falcons decided to move their practice, the Atlanta Falcons, instead of practicing outside, they moved inside.